This is Carla Dash RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this uh, 2018, uh, yes, 2018 Terry Classic. <coughs> Excuse me. V22 travel trailer. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? So you have regular stabilizer jacks, regular crank down scissor type. You have a, a power awning with LED strip. You have outside speakers, uh, TV signal out plus power. Uh, this is a gas hookup so you can connect a, a grill or a griddle to the, to the LP system using a quick connect hose. Okay. You have two, uh, two full uh, LP tanks. You have a, a new um, deep cycle marine battery. Okay. Uh, this is a power tongue jack. Up and down and then you have a hitch light on it. Okay. This is the uh, service panel for your refrigerator. You don't really have to go in there except for service work. Okay, you have uh, some uh, storage here. That is your, your dump hose, and there is a reducer for your shore cord. Reduces it from 30 down to 20 amps. Okay. Outside shower. Okay, so you have a pull-out um, cord here, 30 amp cord, shore cord. Uh, this is your city water connection, the most common way to get water to the trailer through the city water hookup. Then you have your uh, fresh water tank. So if you're camping someplace that doesn't have city water, you can fill your fresh water tank uh, before you, you head out to the campsite. And then when you get there, you just turn on the water pump and you can pump water from your fresh water tank. And all the, uh, all the plumbing will work as though you have city water, even though you'll be pumping out of the tank. So it's a good feature to have, obviously. Most most always you'll have city water, but if you don't, you can always fill it, pre-fill the tank. Okay. Uh, cable, cable and satellite in. This is your hot water tank here. Hot water here. Okay. Um, you can see it's uh, self-explanatory. There's an on and off switch there for, for your electric heating element. The switch for the... Um, Gas burners inside the trailer, I'll show that to you. Right now this is empty because it's winterized. So keep in mind, uh, before you turn it on, in the springtime, you always want to make sure you refill the tank and, and turn it on, okay? That's obviously important. Let me get that on there correctly. Okay. So I'll show you the switches when we get inside. Um, you have some back storage here. Okay, so this is your panel here. If I can get a good picture of it from this close. So basically, you have your your battery uh, levels, your uh, fresh water black tank, that sort of thing. Um, your water pump is right here, right? Your water heater on uh, on um, gas is right here. On uh, 120 is right here. Okay. Your power awning switch is right here. Never leave it out unattended. Lights, so on and so forth. Okay. So where your, your TV and your sound is at, of course. Uh, when you're when you once you mount a TV and you hook it up to here, you always want to leave this green light on, like it is. That shows you that. Uh, digital antennas on. You can shut it off like that, but you always want it on or you won't get a good picture. Okay. You have a uh, cooktop, uh, which is, you just basically light it with a, with a uh, lighter. You have a microwave also. We're in the process of cleaning this, so you, it'll be cleaned up much better when you see it. Your refrigerator is a gas absorption refrigerator, so um, basically you're gonna, this is on and off here, you're, mostly you're gonna have it set to auto, 
auto means auto electricity so it automatically seeks out electricity if it can't find it it'll automatically uh, switch to gas uh, so let's say you have a power failure in the middle of the night or during the day when you're gone it'll sense that and when the electricity goes out it'll, it'll light the gas burner and you won't spoil your food so that's the most common way to do it when it comes to your uh, micro or I'm sorry your air conditioner you have a uh, this switches right on the unit there and then you have your furnace right here turn it on or turn it off by clicking this to the right turn it back on by clicking it to the left and then you select your temperature with this one down here you can sleep on this uh, this uh, jackknife right there um, let me see what else we have most of it's pretty self-explanatory uh, the you have a a vent with a uh, with a fan in it skylight of course you have a, a sink and a shower works like any any other sink and shower the toilet works like any RV toilet it sits right over a black tank so uh, when you get to the campground you hook up your power and your water obviously then you'll come in here you'll put a dose of chemical right in the toilet bowl and then you'll step on the flush pedal right here right and hold it down long enough to put at least a gallon of water along with the chemical into the tank below at least a gallon and then it's ready to be used if you don't do that uh, it'll be considered using it dry and if you if you use it dry like that the smell will be terrible plus it'll get clogged up so you always need chemical and fresh water in there before you use it okay all right they had uh this this right here is your power converter so let me see if I can get down here for you um, so basically you have 110 AC circuit breakers here like you'd have at home and they're all labeled right then the power is converted to 12 volt DC over here so you have 12 volt fuses and they're all labeled right this is also a battery tender so it's going to sense how much energy your battery needs as long as you're plugged in at the to shore power it'll sense how much energy your battery needs and it'll send up as many amps necessary uh, to keep it to keep it charged we're talking about the battery on the tongue now the, the main battery so it's also a battery tender of course when you're pulling down the road your tow vehicle will charge your battery and when you're plugged in this this power converter will charge your battery okay all right Okay, so let's see. Let me look around. This is your carbon dioxide LP gas detector. It should always be green like it is. If it's not green, um, get it uh, serviced immediately. It's, it should always be green. It detects carbon dioxide and, bat and uh, LP gas, so it's it's very important. All righty. Right now, this is winterized, so um, keep that in mind. Um, so basically, um, you're going to inspect the, the seals every, on the trailer, look around, make sure everything's in good shape. That's basic maintenance. Um, when you get ready to camp, you're going to, going to want to make sure that you, you uh, purge all the antifreeze from the system. And you're going to put the, the water heater valves back into camping position. And uh, make sure the water heater is refilled with water before you turn it on, right? And then you'll be all set to go, okay? Um, so thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. If you have any questions, when you come to pick it up, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll answer them for you and uh, go from there, okay? Thank you very much.